morning, I was just minding my own business, sitting in my bathrobe, trying to relax and drink my coffee. And Parker asked me twice, so what's the plan today? And I was like, I'm not gonna let this go for a third ask, because if that happens, then I'll get upset. I wanted him to tell me what he wanted to do today. Because usually it's like, Danny gets to make the plans, which is nice, you know, but sometimes I want him to tell me what he wants to do. So I was like, oh, do you wanna go somewhere? Do you wanna eat? I need you to tell me what you wanna do today. So he's like, I wanna go eat breakfast. And I was like, yes, let's go. So we went to Excellent Cafe. Our waiter was nice, I liked him. Parker feels abused right now because he tried to do his joke where he like slams on the brakes and I do this. And he thinks it's hilarious and I don't think it's funny at all. Well, so he's mad at me. It's hard to be wrong. So we just went to have breakfast and I think we're going to Home Depot, right? Maybe? Yes. Going to Home Depot because Parker's gonna attempt to fix the sink. There's nothing wrong with it, it just detached. <laughs> so, he was very Spit candid. Too hard after you brush your teeth, you just know? knocked it right out of the countertop. I have a very muscular or oral power that just sounded awful. He was very candid. He's like, I've never done anything sink related. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to fix a sink, but he's gonna try. And uh, I don't know. I mean, it's been broken for a week. I've been using his sink, and no, and not one. Ooh, got pulled over by the popo. Look at that. You see? You see? You see? There it is. Um, I don't think in any moment, any single moment at all, have we gotten in each other's way using one sink? Have we? Uh, no. No, right? Like, it's no, it felt, it felt urgent to fix it at first, and then it's really and not, then you affect, forgot, it's not right? affecting our lives at all. <laughs> it's not. It is not affecting us in any way. I haven't accidentally opened the faucet or any, it, no, it has done nothing. It's like, do we need this? <laughs> We really yeah. need all the things we have. You yeah. have things you feel are Well, it's luxury. Necessary. It's definitely luxury. Yeah. Um, I thought about it the other day. I was like, I'm just going to put a piece of wood over it, and then I can actually get ready. Right here if it was my table. sink, I would be turning the faucet on and forgetting it was gone. Oh. You know, doing things like that. So you're, I admire your... I just added it to my mental load. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently you got some room left in there. <laughs> Like you're you like, see, you're capable. <laughs> oh my gosh, I posted that vlog this morning on a mental load. And it's very, it makes me feel happy that I can say something that I'm feeling and it validates so many of you. So it makes me feel a little useful and being an anagram too. <laughs> Y'all know is like my gravy. <laughs> gravy? My bread and butter? My love language? Whatever. <laughs> I always try to use like American sayings, and this gravy. one's like, gravy. like that's the, the thing. Parker, it's like having a goose in the tree or whatever. And he's like, bird in the hand, bird in the hand, Danny, bird in the hand. I'm like, oh, you know, the bird climbing the bush, whatever. But he knows what I mean, so that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Um, but you share all your uh, Mexican. Yeah. Um, sayings too, which are very interesting to hear. Yeah, yeah. I told him the like, other why day. Why don't we have one like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I told him the other day, um, tanto peca, tanto peca el que mata la vaca que el que le detiene la pata. And he was like, what? And I was like, the person that kills a cow is just as guilty as the one that called the cow down, okay? I don't know why we were talking about killing cows, but it was important. Um, what do we need from Home Depot? I think we call that guilty by association. Maybe, huh? Yeah. That's true. Or, oh, uh, dime con quien andas y te diré quien eres. Tell me who you're with and I'll tell you who you are. Like who you hang out with. You, uh, <laughs> sleep with the dogs, you're gonna wake up with fleas. <laughs> I've never heard that you one. Never heard that one? No. Oh, that's a good one. Leave dogs out of this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you hang out with bad people, you're gonna get bad people problems. Oh. Yeah. That's what it means? Mm -hmm. That's grody. <laughs> You're gonna get fleas. That's how I'm gonna say it from now on. You're gonna get fleas. <laughs> Parker's like, works. Oh. <laughs> what do we need from Home Depot? Just caulk, right? Uh, I think we're gonna have to go epoxy okay. to uh, stick the sink underneath the cabinet, and then we're gonna have to get um, some plumber's putty to make it waterproof again. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have to get like a special uh, clamp to hold it in place while it cures over 24 hours. Ooh. Yeah, it's complicated. We can't just do the wedge with the shivs. 
like they did in the video? We may have to do both because oh, okay. it's an oddly shaped sink. So we're gonna have to come up with some options. Mm, I like this. I like walking into Home Depot with the concept, but not necessarily. Like it kind of unfolds as you're there. Do oh yeah, it's like I have a problem and I know the solution is on this aisle. Just gotta find it. Do you guys wanna hear a story? So do you guys remember that fabulous sweatshirt I was wearing yesterday? And then today I'm wearing this fabulous sweater. And I'm just sitting at my computer, minding my own business, replying to your comments from the vlog. And Parker's like, so is that like, like the new trend now? Is it like tie dye? And I know he's like, are you gonna wear tie dye for the rest of your life? Cause it's kind of obnoxious. I just wanna know what kind of summer I'm gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes Parker, it's trendy, but it's always been my favorite. And now I can just be free. <laughs> Like, I, don't, I don't try to match you. I just try, to, <laughs> try not to clash That's with you. That's true, because you always try and match. I'm going to clash with that. There's no, I can't. You can't do anything about this. Yeah, so, I just wear white. I was telling him, I'm like, I've always loved neon colors. And neon pastels are my second favorite. But I've always loved neon hot pink, chartreuse. Um, which, side note, to the two pandas that tagged me in the Yeti post of their new Yeti color. It's called Chartreuse. I, I sent it to Parker via direct message on Instagram. And I was like, heart eye emoji, heart eye emoji, heart eye emoji. Meaning, can you get me this? <laughs> so we ordered the new color of the Yeti cup. It arrives tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. I'll have to show you guys. Yeah, so he was like, is that the new trend? And I was like, it is trendy. Like this neon and tie dye is super trendy right now but I just feel like I can openly love now because before it was like, oh, wow, that's uh, loud. You know, your outfit is loud and now I can, I can be free and I can be myself with my loud, my loud outfit. Um, I was gonna tell you guys one more thing before we got to Home Depot. Do you remember what it was? Oh, we're gonna try out uh, Black Rifle Coffee. <laughs> we got that coming too. Then I got me the, coffee. I got the uh, Pacific Blue. Yeti. Yeti. So mm -hmm. we're going to have matching. His is, that's like Yeti. as obnoxious as Parker will get. It's going to be our it's honeymoon. It's like a brick blue. Ooh, that'll be fun. We got our honeymoon. Yeah, we're thinking know. about our honeymoon and like coronavirus. I was like, do you want to postpone? He's like, no. <laughs> Wear a mask if I have to. I'll lick a Lysol bottle. Y'all, look how long my hair is. I was telling Parker at breakfast today, I was like, I don't know what to do with it, it's too long. It like requires brushing. Like, I remember what knots in your hair feels like when before, when your hair is super short, like nothing happens. He's like, what, are you getting the itch? Are you gonna cut it off? And you could see like his heart is like slowly breaking, like in silence. I was like, no, I'm not gonna cut it, at least not until after the wedding. I'm mean, making it sound like it's a hole. Like you're gonna change as soon as we get married. <laughs> Where are my yoga pants? <laughs> and my slides. Are we going to Costco? Are you teasing me? Maybe. Um, I have to tell you guys some heartbreaking news before I bid you adieu, and uh, I need you to sit down and be ready for this. Uh, Parker broke my heart with this information, so I'm only relaying the message. I'm, I'm being passive aggressive, and because it hurt my heart, I want you to hurt as well. <laughs> So because of coronavirus, Costco is not giving samples right now. I don't know if that's just in a certain state or uh, countrywide, I don't know, but I saw the article. <laughs> you know, could have been fake news, I don't know, but I was like, wow. <gasps> I hope it's fake news. Like this guy got how many months in prison? A year? Three months. Three months. The ice cream liquor. It was it 30 days, 30 days. The notorious ice cream liquor got 30 days in jail and a $1,000 fine and $1,500 in restitution. restitution for licking ice cream at the grocery store. Good, good. That should teach the youth that these stupid viral pranks are a insert expletive here. Like maybe they're making an example out of him, which I don't believe in doing, but if he had to pay $1,500 in restitution, he licked a whole lot of ice creams. <laughs> Why is your face so pretty? Why is your face so pretty? Wanna say hi to your friends? Say hi everybody. Just hanging out with my mama. Hey buddies, it's about 12.15. I'm just here sitting, hanging out with the little homie. Hey, do you wanna tell people about Peter Rabbit? Huh? You guys are friends now? 
Sophia, hey, tell everyone about Peter Rabbit. No? You got nothing to say? Nothing? Maybe something little? Just give us a couple words. Just a couple words? Mm, not today. All right. So we went to Home Depot. That was a total success. We walked in and walked out spending a grand total of about $30. We made a friend with Joe. We made friends with Joe. Joe is our friend. We made friendship with Joe. No, that sounded really weird. How do you say, nos hicimos amigos of Joe? Like we became, Joe's, Joe became our friend, whatever. Um, there is a guy that works at Home Depot, his name's Joe. He made the whole experience very entertaining. He made us feel validated about the poor, shoddy construction of our sink. Um, and Parker feels confident enough that he can fix it. So it's looking like a good day. I did though catch Parker trying to sneak a peek in my Thrive Market box. And I was like, whoa, sir, first of all, I need to talk about it in this video. Second of all, um, do you wanna see what's in it? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll have you do the unboxing. So I will now present to you Parker, who is going to show you what's in my Thrive Market box. Keep in mind, he never opens my Thrive Market packages. He doesn't know what I order from Thrive Market. All he does is use the stuff. And uh, this particular order is gonna be especially exciting because there's tissue and there's a toothbrush for him in there. So I think it might be exciting. Or he might be like, do, do we need any of this stuff? Um, I'm sorry, actually we do because we're trying to make our house a little more green, a little more eco-conscious, a little healthier, you know? Plus, I think my selling point for him is gonna be like, listen, you see those stasher bags I put in your lunchbox every day? They're 25 to 50% cheaper <laughs> than at regular retailers. I'm totally pitching it to Parker, you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I was telling you that um, we may or may not get this box delivered to our house pretty often, and Parker just goes with it. <laughs> I have no idea really what comes out of this box. It's She's just, like, oh! The things I need show up. And another, <laughs> another box. But he never actually sees what I order. And every time it's different. It's either replacement bags for the kids' lunches, snacks. This time I wanted to venture out and try new things because I told you guys in the previous Thrive video that I've been trying to make our household not 100% green, not 100% you know uh, eco-conscious, but simply make little changes here or there like in our dressings or our condiments, things like that. So this time I wanted to incorporate a different aspect of our home, like our bathrooms and some things for the dogs. Yeah. So always, he's, always try to do a little better, a little better, a little better. Yeah, so, so he's blind and boxing for you guys. Yeah, I don't know what what to expect. All right, we got whole grain pretzels. I love pretzels and sea salt is like one of my favorites. So I'm looking forward to that. Peanut butter filled pretzels. I know that's a, that's a favorite by the kiddos. Yeah. Little nuggets love these peanut butter filled nuggets. Okay, we follow that right up with some dish gloves. Ooh, this okay, comes I'm from, excited. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they're green. Oh, they're green. Oh, they're like army green. So these are from a brand called If You Care, quality with integrity. Fair trade, certified natural rubber. Apparently, I don't know how to put gloves on. You don't want that fake rubber. You don't want the fake rubber. Well, I think there's like some dangerous or like toxic plastics in some of these things. 100% rubber from well-managed forests. Okay, so. Oh, like it's it's good for the, good for um, the, trees. the trees. Yeah. Wow, they're really thick. Heavy duty. Ready? No. I'm training for zombie apocalypse. Not ready. Literally every single one of my conversations has been me talking about how I'm getting ready for the zombie apocalypse. I need to find another hobby. These gloves can be com composted. What? If you cut it into small strips, you can actually compost them. Huh. Wow. Oh. I got the pour overs. Toppers for dogs. Oh. <laughs> so you pour this over to dog food, uh -huh. mix it up, and so if you're having trouble with your pet, you know, eating their food, a little incentive. Yeah, I hope they like it. I was really excited when I saw this on the website. It's important that you guys check out the website because it's divided into categories. So like I could buy makeup on there. I could buy uh, sanitary napkins. I could buy toilet paper and chips. There's stuff for everybody in the family. Oh, they got different flavors. Mm -hmm. Chicken and pumpkin stew. I hope they like it. Bone broth. They're grain free and they're just Basically meal enhancers. That's kind of what they look like. I might They're like try it later. little. I'm not gonna say it, it looks like baby food. I may poke a finger in. <laughs> oh, for quality assurance, just make sure your dogs are exactly. safe. Exactly. You know. Exactly. That's how you know you love them. 
What is this? It's like OxyClean without all the chemicals. Oh, okay. It's like to brighten colors and to remove yellow stains off the clothes. Yeah, I got the whole armpit thing going. We need help with that. So we got Nellie's. Last time we tried, um, what's the other brand? Molly's, I think. Um, so this is a different one. This one had really good reviews too. So I'm like, let's test them up. Let's put them up against each other. Pit them up against each other. Pit them, pit, pit them up versus do a battle. <laughs> a whitener battle. <laughs> Stain remover uh, in a spray bottle. In a spray bottle. I hate how excited I am about this. No, I think it's like a smush. Like a sh and it's got like an applicator brush thing at the top. It's like a marker. It's the brand of the dishwasher tabs that I order consistently from Thrive Market. Oh, it does smell. Mm -hmm. it does. Oh, you smelled it? I did smell it. It smells really good. It kind of smells like the dishwasher tabs. Hmm. Stain on the same uh, laundry theme. Now yeah. we have a Wow Stick stain remover. This one had Nellies. a ridiculous amount of reviews. Really? So I thought for like your work stuff for like the boys when they have the stains on their pants, it's like a stick. Oh, it is like a... Isn't that a, weird? It's a big waxy stick. What does it do? I don't know. Do you put directions? Wet wow stick. It smells good. Wet stained area. Rub Look. wow stick. Look at that. See, it's like a it's like a bar of soap, maybe? Yeah. You get it? Yeah, it's like a bar of soap. You get it, is, it wet, right? and you get the stain wet, and you rub it, and then you launder it. And it's that's, very satisfying that trick, looking. Apparently. Like a big glue stick. <laughs> Huh, I wonder if you can just put it back in the box or do you have to let it dry? All right, now we're going from the laundry room apparently to the bathroom. I couldn't remember if I got paper towels or toilet paper. Like I wanted to tiptoe into the paper You area. get everything from this. <laughs> he looks at me sometimes like I'm crazy, but then other times like he thinks I'm magical, you know? Yeah. But it's bamboo toilet paper. And it's chlorine free, which is supposed to be good for like your lady bits. Yeah, this is good. Or so they're good not, that it doesn't happen. They're not cutting down trees to make your toilet paper. That's that's good. Yeah, I don't know, but I guess they're cutting down bamboo. It's a better way to wipe. <laughs> Ooh, because my hiney's clean. <laughs> <laughs> no? You know the commercial? No, I don't know that. You know the, the little bear? I know that the bear. That wipes his butt and he goes, because my hiney's clean. He puts dance. his little hands on his foot. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Parker ruins all my cute moments with... <laughs> and now into the kitchen with a uh, little little kitty fork and spoon. Well, when I pack their lunch, what made do I from milk about? jugs. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Isn't this place awesome? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the stuff they come up with. When I pack the kids' lunches, my kids, you guys, they don't eat sandwiches. They need like fresh pasta, and so I have to cook it in the morning. Or they need like a popcorn chicken, and I have to bake it in the morning. And I'll put in disposable plastic fork or spoons in their um. And they're lunch boxes, which then just go in the garbage. So if we use these, they're cute and colorful. They're little for their hands, and they'll remember, hey, I don't throw these away. Yeah, made in America mm -hmm. from American milk jugs. They're the same brand that does um, these. Oh, okay. The ones that you yeah, it had. did seem familiar. Yeah, it's the same brand. Everything's recycled. That's pretty cool, huh? That's cool, yeah. Oh, and these, these have been in our house for a while. I didn't know they came from here. You um, love them, don't you? Yeah, I mean, because I was heavy. I used a lot of Ziploc bags, mm -hmm. and it's not a good way to go. That's not not very environmentally friendly. So these one of are the reusable. first changes he made um, when he and I started dating is like when he would meal prep, he'd use like seven bags: mm -hmm. one for the food, one for the marinade, one for the whatever. And I was like, you use way too many bags. Way too many. Why don't you use bowls or glass bowls or plastic containers? And he started to do that, and we stopped buying plastic bags. Yeah. And so I use these for their snacks or fruit in, in school. It really wasn't a hard transition at all to get away from. So these Man, would be great the for like ta travel. Like if you need to put it in your suitcase, that's a really great size. And they are leak proof, seal proof, airtight. So I wanted to try the little ones and the really big one. We haven't had this size yet. That's, that's exciting. That's where you hide your candy. That's exciting. You put it in your bedroom in like a dresser drawer. No I'll one be, goes looking there. I'll be marinating steaks in this. <laughs> He's like, this is for me. <clears throat> Ooh, dish towels, dish cloths. Yeah. One of the chores that we have for the kids, like on our magnetic board, is one loads the dishwasher and then the other one dries dishes or puts them away. And so we we sopped wet a lot of towels and thought just having a couple. I think these are, some, there's something cool they're about these. Textured. They're, they're, you can scrub with them without scratching. Um, 
Designed with loops for adding scrubbing power, 100% organic cotton, earth-friendly organic, sustainable choice, and non-toxic. Oh, look at these! Touch them! These would be good for washing your makeup off. Oh, this would get the bugs off your motorcycle, too. <gasps> look, I don't know if you guys can see the texture on the camera, but it's thin, but it has grooves in it, so it definitely can hold water. Oh, two more things, you guys. Oh, we got treats, dog treats. We're gonna need a supermodel. Is there anything you can't get from this place? No, let's get a supermodel here. Bunker, come here, bud. We got a uh, little bitty jerky. You can press them, it's either like soft, but you can tell they're gonna be really chewy. We got chicken and salmon recipe. Which one do you want? Chicken? Not a salmon fan, okay. Or beef? Uh, how about beef and lamb? Wanna try that one? Mern's like, I'm here. Yeah, you like do you guys it. see her? <laughs> Mern's in. I'm ready. What do you think, Mern? Can you give them one? I think they like it. Let's go, let's go. All right, Thrive, don't let us down, Thrive. Let's go salmon, I love salmon. Hey, what's, what's oh, he's what's like dying snack? over here. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the finger. Not the finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mern, here, here. Oh, jeez, okay. Did he get you? No. Oh, was it good? He didn't even savor it. Look, you got oh, one behind you. It's already gone. Oh, the tempo. You're a little mister. Oh, he's excited. Oh, oh, oh. You hear him grunt with enthusiasm? <laughs> like, yes! Yes! Oh, is yeah, oh, good? Like they like him. <laughs> oh, man, now you got Santa breath. Uh, we got... Oh! That's why I wanted to open it! Toothbrushes? Yeah, for the kids. Try them out. Brush, smile, repeat. Oh, they're they're made of wood. They're made of bamboo. They're bamboo. Bamboo, bamboo toothbrush. Supposedly one of the biggest um, landfill fillers are toothbrushes. No way. Isn't that weird? They're so little, but it's kind of like straws That's where cool. they've become a nuisance to the planet. Is toothbrushes. So these um, are supposed to be like earth friendly. They last for a very long time. Oh, this is for kids. Which one did you open? The adult? The adult, yeah. How does it feel? It's on the soft side. This is the little one for for kids. So it's like the softer bristles. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. It's a bitty baby toothbrush. They're going to love it. I think anything that looks different, they're like, okay, let's try it out. Facial tissue. Let's try it. All right, this is bamboo. It's a hybrid blend tissue. It's soft and strong. Wow. I like tissues like this. I don't like the puffs. Yeah. I want it to, to wipe, like to remove the stuff that's in my mouth. Say what? Nose. Let's try it. Say thing in my beard? Mm-mm. Uh -huh. Is that like the test? That's the good thing. Like when you cry and then you blow the fuzz on your face. No, that's, so you don't want to, bad you don't want to blow your nose with toilet paper if you have a beard. That's, Let me test it out. That's an important thing to remember. This is a tissue test. A zero smell. They're nice. They're pretty strong. They're soft but strong. Yeah. And now my shiny queen. Pretty tough. Yeah, my honey. No. Stop. You know, we were dating, that kind of stuff was cute. I just wanted you to like me. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that Thrive Market unboxing featuring the Parker. Um, it's very hilarious for me to admit this out loud, but I think of all the things we hauled, so far my favorite thing were the tissues. <laughs> I hate feeling unsatisfied with things like paper towels or tissues, you know, toilet paper, because it's something that you go through so much or that you use so much that you want to make sure they're good. Anyway, if you guys were interested in checking out Thrive Market, don't forget I do have a link in the description box below. The membership is very simple. It's very easy to understand, very easy to use. And the best part is that it adapts to your lifestyle. So if you want to try it, like for us, I order from Thrive Market at least once a month at a minimum. And so my membership ends up being about $5 a month or $60 a year. So if you don't want to commit to the year, you can try out the month to month, which is $9.95 a month, or you could do a three month at a time membership, which ends up being about $6.65 for each month within that quarter. Um, also keep in mind that they do give back. So they do membership for membership. 
if you happen to be a teacher or a veteran or um, special needs, low income family, if we buy a membership, they give that membership to someone else. So it's a really great benefit of using a company like Thrive Market. It's a great way to making your home greener. It's a great way to becoming a little more eco-conscious and just incorporating better things for your family in your home like we did. last. Um, the last order that I showed you guys was about condiments and salad dressings. It was a huge success in the house. I mean, it was, it couldn't have been a smoother transition. I don't think anyone noticed and everyone loved it. So it was great. Um, don't forget that if you do shop from Thrive Market, the best part about it is that it's 25 to 50% cheaper than other places um, that you would shop from that also say or claim to have organic products, greener products, healthier products. So for us, it's been a easy, foolproof way of buying things that we really, really enjoy that are better for the environment and are better for our family. So if you guys wanted to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Remember, it's no strings attached. So if you try it out and before your 30 days are up, you're like, you know what? I really, I can't really benefit much from this or like my family can't really get a good use out of it. Um, you do get your money back. Um, but if you become a full on Thrive Market lover and convert like we are, I am tempted to check out their fresh seafood and wine on the website. <laughs> I told you guys in the previous video that my best friend Sam was keto for a pretty long time and I actually turned her on to Thrive Market because there's this really cool feature on the website where you can narrow down your searches based on dietary restrictions. So let's say that you're gluten-free or you only want to shop organic products or you're on the paleo diet or you want grain-free. You can narrow down your searches and it'll only show you snacks, ingredients, uh, food products that fit your lifestyle. So um, last Thrive Market haul, I purchased a peanut butter for Parker for work and he just absolutely loved it. And it was so hard for us to find a peanut butter that only had peanuts in it. Everything has palm oil, it has sugar, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, all that stuff. Just additives that we're not anti those additives, but it's better if we can find a cleaner um, alternative for our family. So I'm gonna update you guys next month on the gloves, the towels, the brightening, the stain removing stick. In this episode of how do you know you're getting old is you get excited about things like a stain removal stick. So I'll actually update you guys on that next month um, and let you know how it worked out. But for now, I'm really excited to go put this toilet paper in all of my bathrooms. If you guys want to check out Thrive Market, don't forget to look for the details in the description box of this video. But for now, we're going to go finish fixing a bathroom sink. Yep. My handsome contractor is here. He doesn't know the contracting rules, though, where, like, if you're going to fix something in this home, you can't wear pants. So we'll see how that goes. o'clock we are on our way to date night <laughs> okay Parker and I had this conversation where we really need to change the vernacular of us socializing together as a couple it's never night it's never date night it needs to be like date evening <laughs> date afternoon 
afternoon date. It just doesn't like sound, you know, date. I don't know, but it's never at night. Right now it's almost three o'clock and we're like, yeah, let's go on date night. Can we be home by eight? <laughs> It's our social congregation of the our bi-monthly, our bi-monthly social congregation that never takes place before or after 8 p.m. Um, Parker asked me if there were any movies that I was um, curious to see and I was like, not really, although I have heard a ton of people talking about um, The Invisible Man. That's what it's called, right? Invisible the Invisible Man. Man. So I've heard a lot of people talk about it, so it probably is good. Um, got, got a lot of got high ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, well, and I've seen it all over Instagram, like people talking about going to go see it. Um, so I asked Parker, I was like, well, if you're not scared, we can go see that one. Scared. It's not a scary movie, like it's not horror, it's like a psych thriller. So, we're gonna go see that at Cut. Are we gonna eat here, or are we just gonna eat popcorn? Like, what's the scoop? I don't know, I'm thinking cocktail. What's the vibe? They don't have cocktails here. I think they do. They do? They do. I thought just beer. Oh, they got it. You think they have fireball? <laughs> Should've brought your own. Should've brought my little fireball. <laughs> at Parker's um, Family's Christmas, they did the saran wrap ball game, and there was fireball inside the saran wrap ball, and so the whole time I was like hoping that I could get the fireball and I didn't, like I kept missing it. But his cousin was so sweet, he gave me his. <laughs> so now I have these little bottles of fireball in my um, coffee cabinet, which I need to put to good use. I don't know if I'm like the one in seven people in this world that really likes fireball. I'm sorry, I like it. I literally really like it. <laughs> that and Maker's Mark. Y'all, I'm classy. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm I'm pretty fancy. So, it only makes sense that I like Fireball out of little plastic bottles. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's 5.30. This is the face of someone that could have walked out from that movie and not regretted it one bit. It was slow. God! It was really slow. Ugh. You know, a few times in life do I wish I would have rather like had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> And then I have an excuse to walk out for a good 10 minutes. Ugh. It wasn't bad. It was just boring. Slow. Although Adrian was very good looking. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. I'll let you gaslight me for a good nine minutes. And then cut. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm like, wow. She's a good actress, though. You believed her, um going nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then she gets those puffy eyes, like you believe her, she, where she's like, wait a minute, am I really going crazy? Um, yeah, we don't want to spoil it for you, but just opinion based, I thought it was boring and it was very slow and I would have much rather watched it on Netflix for 15 minutes and then walked away and watched something else. <laughs> yeah. But the popcorn was delicious. <laughs> they did have good popcorn. <laughs> and, my, and my Dr. Pepper was on was it perfect? It was like on. perfectly cold. It was really just good ice cold. Very like good. the movie ads where they you Refreshing. see the frizz and yeah, I could feel it. I could feel it. The fizz and the, the, the ice bubbly, cubes that are like perfect. Bubble. Very yeah, good. And my coke was pretty good. Cool theater, love the seats, heated seats, reclining seats. My neighbor, not this one, like my neighbor on in the row smelled like an ashtray, like full on ashtray. I don't mind when people smoke. I think some people enjoy smoking. Whatever, I don't care. I don't judge. However. He legit smelled like an ashtray. That I find a little offensive. I wonder if there's a way to control that. But it was it was uncomfortable when the AC would turn on and be like, oh, there you are again. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, what's your plan for today? Nothing, right? Uh, this was date night? <laughs> yeah, date night was our plan. <laughs> it was on the calendar. Um, I don't know. I'm not really hungry. Are you hungry? Really? Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to say you were. Which means I'll be starving in two hours. <laughs> but we do have a Grubhub coupon. Coup coupon. 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 <laughs> Remember that meme? Coupon. Coupon! <laughs> With the cat. <laughs> I'll put it up here so you guys can laugh. It's so funny. Um, tomorrow's exciting. I'll tell you why. So tomorrow's exciting because my Yeti cup arrives. Our Yeti cups arrive. I should have worn this tomorrow so it would match my Yeti and then I could just carry it around like a 
ridiculous person. Um, and then the other thing is, why else am I excited for tomorrow? It was going to be very important what I was going to say. I'm going to try a new coffee. Get that going on. Mm -hmm. It won't arrive though by the time we need to try it, so we'll have to try it until Monday. Well, sometimes Amazon delivers at our house like at 7 in the morning. It's kind of crazy. Um, oh look, my battery light is flashing. We're going to run out of battery. Uh, what's not exciting is Parker has to work tomorrow. So there's that. Oh, I know why I'm excited. Because we're going to see if my sink is fixed. Well, that's going to be exciting. Yeah, I got to go charge my camera. I'll catch you later. Bye. International Women's Day. You're strong. You're strong. Yeah, you are. You're so strong. It's my brave girl. My brave, brave girl. You're just a bully, aren't you? <laughs> You're just a bully. <laughs> hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. It's about one o'clock ish. Um, I don't know if the time on the screen is going to show up correctly because I mess with the settings on my camera since it's daylight savings time. Um, so hopefully y'all see the right time, but it's about one o'clock right now. So I had the glorious idea this morning um, to walk to Target with Parker. So we had breakfast and I was folding laundry in front of the TV, obviously watching more of The Walking Dead. And I told Parker, I was like, I don't wanna do anything today, but I also kinda wanna earn my not doing anything, hence me doing some laundry. Apparently I have four loads of laundry. I feel like all I talk about is laundry in these vlogs. Like how, how do we collect so much laundry? Anyway, so I started doing laundry and I was like, I don't wanna do anything today, but I also kinda wanna earn not doing anything. How do you feel about just getting out of the house and going on a long walk? So we decided to walk to Target. He was like, I'm also out of my beard stuff. And he was kind of looking around at Target. I was like, Ulta's right next door. Why don't we go there and we can get your Billy Jealousy. Billy Jealousy is this brand um, that I discovered. I don't remember, remember how I learned about it. Did you just throw her? She slipped. Parker just threw Sophia out. I did not throw Sophia. Sophia busted her butt. <laughs> Not my fault. Launched her like football. No, like that beanbag game. <laughs> um, so we got his beard bomb. And then on the way back, he's like, hey, what if we get a coffee and we can walk with it? Y'all, I was walking with my hood the whole time. It was freezing. <laughs> my ears hurt. So we walked back and forth, excuse me, from home to Target to Ulta to the coffee shop home. Two different routes. And I think I'm tired. Oh, and you know what else I did? I did two push-ups, pull-ups. I did two pull-ups. I'm seeing if Parker's nearby because he says I tried to do two pull-ups. I'm like trying counts, you guys, right? So um, it took us two hours. Two hours from start to finish, from home to the errands to walk back, two hours. We took a couple little, um, Look at my nail, how embarrassing is that? We took a couple little detours and now we're home and I'm hungry. We gotta make Parker's lunches. He's also on call today, so he may get called in. We don't know, but it's gonna be a lazy day. Today's not gonna be extravagant. Y'all aren't gonna see anything exciting. 
however you may see a cheeseburger. So I just wanted to set you guys up for that. We just finished season seven of The Walking Dead. So we still have eight and nine to go. We gotta see if the sink's stuck. <gasps> Is it time yet? It's, it's one o'clock. It's time. It's 24 yeah. hours? 23 hours. Do you guys wanna go see the sink? So Parker rigged it with like a clamp and like a rope and whatever. And so what are you gonna do? Just remove it and see if it falls? I'm just gonna just hit the button and see what happens. Come on, cinnamon rolls. Come here, baby. Just go slow. We're waiting for you. Bubble, why are you free balling it, huh? Where are your diapers? Come on, guys. We are on sink watch. Sink watch, Marin. Come on. Oh. Are you ready? Ready? What's gonna happen? I'm scared. No. What's gonna happen? I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. <gasps> oh, you scared me. And that's it? That's it. But still something goes under, right? Or no? No. No. Yeah. Well, I didn't have anything under it before. It was just glued. I don't know how I feel about this bomb. It's gonna be just fine. It's gonna explode. It's fixed. You should carry a piece of wood around like that more often. Mm. It's very manly. So that's it? No. And then we gotta put the little pluggy thing there again. And then this. So the next time I check in with this fabulous face, is this the third piece of tie dye I'm wearing in this vlog? It's like all the time now. That's disgusting. All the time. How does it make you feel? I mean. Very hippie-ish. Hippie, hippie-like. Just, just be honest. I'm already POS, according to Karen. Okay. Just be honest. You're a colorful POS. <laughs> Very bright and cheerful POS. <laughs> I'm the troll version of a POS. Mm. Um, the next time you see me, I'm going to hopefully successfully be running water through my collapsed sink. How do you feel about that, Wesley? This is your interview. Wesley, what do you think? What do you think, Fatso boy? Oh, you're so handsome. Stop shaking the sink. He's shaking the sink. Hi, Bunky. Did you have a good day while we were gone? We went so far, you would have been so nervous. You would have been so nervous with those eyeliner eyes. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Marin, I feel like you're getting whiter. Are you getting older on me? Please don't. I cannot handle it four times over. I cannot. I cannot. Hi, Marin. Look at those ears. Let me see Goldito. Let me see me Goldito. Let me see me Goldito. Oh, God. That was great! o'clock. I'm here for my final check-in. Y'all, this Sunday was spectacular. It's almost 8 o'clock and I feel like it's 10 o'clock, <laughs> which is weird because it's daylight savings time, so it's actually almost 7 o'clock. I can't hang, y'all. So it's a pretty good day. I mean, we got a lot of stuff done. We went on a really long walk. My thighs may be a little throbby. I really have to figure out a way of incorporating some more physical exercise. <laughs> I get like 10,000 steps just from being in this home and doing stuff, you know? You can come out. <laughs> no. 
I get like 10,000 steps every day just from being home and from going back and forth with the dogs and you know doing laundry and cleaning the kitchen and stuff like that so I'm pretty active but I'm not active active so I gotta gotta really work on that because walking to Target should not do me in <laughs> and then um for lunch I just whipped up some basic zucchini and steak I told Parker I was like I'm gonna make you hibachi that's that's as good as it got it was actually pretty good and it tasted exactly like hibachi without any of the bells and whistles and it literally took me like six minutes <laughs> Um, and then for dinner, um, I kept harassing Parker. I was like, I want a cheeseburger. I want a cheeseburger. But we were so bad this weekend that I was like, no, you know what? Let me see what I can, what I can figure out. So when I make my mom's famous tacos, which there's a recipe on my channel for it already, easiest taco recipe ever. Um, and it's also Instapot friendly. So if you don't have like four or five hours to roast it in the oven, you can actually do it in the Instapot for like an hour maybe. I don't remember. I wrote it down somewhere. Um, so we just had tacos for dinner and we've been watching The Walking Dead. But right now I'm trying to like rush through this outro because we need to watch 90 Day Fiance. Have you guys seen the new season? I'm a little um, about it. I haven't decided. I don't think Darcy should be in it. Darcy, Darcy should be done. Like Darcy need, needs not be in any of these more 90 day spinoffs. She's, she's, she's run her course, you know? Um, the couple with the guy in Nigeria that's a rapper, I don't buy it at all. I, at, at all. It seems super 100% totally super fake. Plus she's really gross. I don't want to say that though because she's scary and she'll probably find me and come beat me up. Um, and then the guy from San Diego, um, Big John, or what's his name? Yeah, Big John. Big Bob, big, he's, he's 4'11". The big little guy. The big little guy. Um, he, he's going to the Philippines. That doesn't seem real either. Um, but they haven't really shown them on camera with the chemistry. Like, they're barely setting up these couples. So, I haven't decided if I'm going to like this season or not. Last season, I didn't like it. It was a... It was a disappointment. It was boring. I didn't I didn't like it. So we'll see about this one. Um, but that's it. A little update on my Thrive haul. Um, I already washed my stasher bags. I washed my dish towels, which are really nice. I'm really loving the dish gloves. Nothing has slipped out of my hands, you guys. I normally use the blue gloves that you just buy at the um like any sort of store, like Walmart, Target, whatever. Um, but those get slippery sometimes with too much soap. These have not been slippery at all. Um, the Ecover um, spot treatment, I don't know what's in that, but it's kind of magical. Um, I tried it on one of my son's pants. So that was a total win. I haven't tried the Nelly stick though, the one that looked like a giant crayon. Um, what else did we do? The toothbrush. I've been using the toothbrush nonstop from yesterday to today. Oh, and you know what? I used the toothbrush in my sink that hasn't fallen. <laughs> Thank <Yes>. you, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, Parker is officially able to install the sink. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed that for the next, I don't know, 10 years, the sink stays. Um, so the toothbrush was awesome. I can't remember off the top of my head anything else that I've used. Oh, the tissues. I put the tissues next to my vanity right away in the bathroom. I love those things. I tend to like rougher toilet paper, rougher paper towels, rougher tissue. Like, I want it to be grippy, you know? I don't like the fuzzy kind, um, soft, the really gentle, crumbly kind. So, um, I really, really like those tissue boxes. Those are definitely a winner in a repurchase. But I can't remember anything else that... I've used from the hall. Can you? Not yet. No, not right? Yet. Not yet. I think we that's haven't been it. home very much. Yeah. yeah, so I definitely like the toothbrush. I was afraid that because it was too soft, it wasn't gonna feel really clean, but I like it. And I love the handle too. It's actually pretty comfortable, like the bamboo handle. Um, so I'll leave all the details on Thrive Market. If you guys were curious to check it out, don't forget, um, I subscribe to the one year membership, but there are other options and it's no commitment, 30 day money back guarantee, all that stuff. So I'll leave all that information listed in the description box below of this video. Um, I don't believe I will have a vlog next weekend. I'm just kind of like forewarning you. I don't think I will because it's gonna be a really family heavy weekend. And as much as I would like to share, it just becomes one of those times where I don't even remember to pull out my camera. So I don't wanna say I will and then I, I chicken out halfway through, 
you know, I forget. I, I, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the deal anyway. So I don't believe I'll have a, I don't believe I'll have a weekend vlog, but I may have something else even better featuring this ham sandwich over here. Really? What? Oh. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's like, oh. <laughs> Anything and everything that you saw in this vlog, as long as I can find it, I will link it in the description box of this video. Um, but other than that, um, I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, send me a hairbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. Goodbye, Parker. Goodbye. <laughs>